Box. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Selenium Grid 4 in Docker with Docker Compose file. First of all, we need Docker Desktop. So we are going to go ahead and install Docker Desktop from docker.com. I'm going to go ahead and click Get Started. Scroll down and you will see Docker Desktop option and based on your operating system select that option and install it. I already have it installed in my machine so I'm gonna go ahead start it it might take a few minutes to start Docker desktop Okay, it's still starting. Here we go. Okay. Docker desktop is up now. Now next we need Docker compose file. So um, I already have that docker compose file in my project tag with best cut project and in that docker compose file I have latest um, Chrome and Firefox nodes with selenium hub so you what you can go to that project in github and clone it and you will be able to see all the, all the code and um, sample tests that we are going to run at the, at the end of this video. So, I'm gonna go and copy the path for Docker Compose file, open up the terminal, and then run the command. Make sure you go to docker compose file directory first and then what you need to do is docker compose and you would have type the file name in this case is docker compose yaml and up make sure your docker desktop is up and running and then after that, when you run that command, it is going to pull the latest images for Selenium Hub, for Chrome, and Firefox. Alright, we are going to go ahead and see the containers. As you can see, we have Selenium Hub, Chrome, Firefox, the latest versions, and they are all up and running. Okay, we are going to go to see Selenium Grid localhost. Alright, as you can see, we have Chrome and Firefox. We're able to see the Selenium Hub and Nodes. And the port for that localhost 4444. Make sure you use that um, if you want to see the Nodes and Hub up and running. That is also in the application that property in the project. When you see it's localhost colon 4444 for port. You can also copy that URL and go paste it, which you will see 
Firefox and Chrome. And you can also see the Selenium Grid version 4.2.2. Alright, we are going to go ahead and run one test. In application.properties, grid is enabled. That is set to false by default. That means it is when you run the test, when this is false, it is going to launch the browser locally and you will see that. It's not going to run it um, in grid. And for its randomizing, the, it's picking random browsers as you can see it's Chrome and Firefox is selected and it's randomized so I'm gonna put that set that to true and run it locally first run only one scenario first Okay, test is running. All right, it's using Firefox browser. So we're gonna go ahead and see the hub. Yes, so it's picking, it's picked up that uh, Firefox node and running that in grid. So you're not gonna see any browsers launching in your computer that is running in Selenium grid. And test is completed, all steps passed. Now I have UI and one UI and one API test in my project currently. So I'm gonna set that grid test grid enable to false and I am going to go ahead and run the all test with Maven. So I'm gonna go and select Maven. And I can also configure that when I run it with Maven, I can configure that um, the enable grid enable set to true if I want to run all tests in um, Selenium grid. So one of the tests is API, so it's not going to launch any browser. Again, we are going to see only one browser launch for UI test. But in, to in total, there will be two tests, and you will see that in the um, below report. Okay, we're gonna go to Selenium Hub URL again, and we'll see. It's gonna pick a browser randomly since it's set to randomly pick a browser all right so build success and we're gonna run now as you can see this is a low report and you can see the test result in a low report um, you can go to the um, Allo report how to if you want to see the Allo, how if you want to see how to set up a low report in the project you can go to the video that I already uploaded in YouTube and make sure you click on the link that you see and go to that video to watch how you can set up a low report that is already configured in the project. Um, with business card project so that's it today we saw how to set up selenium grid using docker compose file